Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. My name is William Juma. In this video, I wanted to talk about how to encrypt database fields. Sometimes you may require users interacting with your application to register APIs, API keys for third-party uh, applications. So in this case, they will be putting sensitive data in uh, your database. And in this case, if you store these uh, API keys, as a plain text, one can be able to stumble at your database and you might have a risk of exposing the user uh, API keys to attackers. And for us to be able to mitigate this, we can be able to add another layer of protection for these keys and we can go ahead and encrypt the keys. And Laravel has a very easy way in which we can be able to do this. So let us go ahead and just dive into it and see how you can be able to encrypt a database field. So here we have our database and I would like to, by default, this is a new installation of Laravel. And I would like to encrypt any fields am field among the fields that we have here. And then we can be able to see how that will be. So I want us to open and create one user. So I've opened database CEDAR here. So when you go to database folder, and then uh, CEDAR's database CEDAR. I want us to open this. And by default, you usually have 10 users. I want us to just create one user. And for us to be able to use that, we can be able to run the command php artisan db seed to seed our one user in the database. And now what we have here is a user. And as you can see, the email is visible, so it's not encrypted. I want us to encrypt this email such that it will not be displaying the way it is displaying currently just to give some sort of an example to explain what it is that I'm talking about. So we will go to the user model. So in this case, you will go to the specific model with which you want to encrypt your um, values. And if we scroll downwards, we have the protected casts. So this is where we are going to add our, um, our field. So I want us to encrypt the email field. And so what we can be able to do, we'll just add it here. And then we can just type in, type in that it is encrypted just like that. And once you do it that way, it is possible for you to encrypt the email field. So I would like us to again run PHP artisan DB seed to create another user. And I want us to go ahead and check in our database. So I'm going to refresh. And now you can see this new user, the, the email is actually an encrypted Im email. So the text is not visible. We can be able to retrieve the user and we will get the specific email. I want us to try and do that in our routes folder. So I open routes web.php and here where we are loading the welcome route, I want us to just find a user whose ID is two. So user so we can be able to save this user in a variable so user is a user uh, find then we can just put the value two to get the user whose id is two and then dd user then of course because we are calling the user model we can be able to just Im include it here use app models user it's supposed to be capital user and now if we are to close this semicolon here and retry and refresh the page that we have here, as you can see, we are going to get the details for this user. And if we look at uh, whatever it is that we have now, you can see the email is uh, still encrypted. Let me try and return the user. So in this case, instead of doing DD user, I say return user. So if I do that, let me refresh and see. And now you can see the email is no longer encrypted. So we stored it as an encrypted email, but now it is no longer encrypted. So you can be able to access the data in the normal way in which you can be able to work with your Laravel application. But if somebody by mistake stumbles on your database, then they, they cannot be able to get the email. The caution is, any attacker that attacks your website must not attempt, must not get two things. So it must not get the database and also get the encryption uh, key that we have in the ENV here. So what we have here, this EN, this key, if one accesses it, they can actually be able to decrypt whatever it is that we have encrypted. And if 
one you'll be able to have the two combinations then again you have issues but in most cases it's not possible for it it it, it is probably very hard work for one to get the two one might be able to access the database and not maybe access your env files so if one of them is not accessible then you will be fine so if you practice the best practices you can be able to just protect these keys that you want to protect very very fine so basically that is it about this tutorial thank you very much for following up until this point subscribe share and you can also comment if um, you have some nice uh, other way in which you can be able to do it or if um, you have any other contributions. Thank you very much.